When you combine amazing AI tools with an incredible deal, that's a combination that can't be beat. And that's exactly what I'm showing you today. This video is a part of my Hidden Gem series where I'll showcase powerful AI apps, tools, and resources that you might not yet know about, especially AI tools that have insanely good deals. But when I find an impressive one that's worth subscribing to, I definitely want to let all of you know about it. So today, that's what we're doing. I'm going to show you an amazing AI powerhouse that I've been using non-stop. But before we do that, I'm first going to show you what perhaps is the best hidden gem out there. In fact, this hidden gem has tons of other hidden gems actually inside of it. And that's exactly where we're going to find the one I'm showing you today. So if you aren't yet familiar with AppSumo, this is an amazing website. It has tons of hidden gems that you can discover. You can almost scroll just infinitely. And what makes this even better, actually 10x better are the insanely good prices and deals make sure you check the links in the description and there's very few things i like more than a lifetime deal and for today i'm sharing a specific one for you this is an awesome tool with an awesome deal it's called merlin and for the price it's hard to beat so you can actually find this amazing deal directly from within the app sumo website 26 in one ai extension to write summarize and code amazing but one of the best features of this is using the actual Google Chrome extension. It's trusted by over 1 million users. That's when you know this is going to be a good product. Tons of amazing reviews. Here's a quick example. I just pulled it up right here, and this is exactly what will pull up when you have the Chrome extension installed. We'll get back to this in a second, but first, Let's take a look at some of these amazing, powerful features. Everything from article summarizer and then Merlin on Twitter. And then it can compose email. And as you're starting to type out your email, you can have AI take over, rewrite it, make it funner, make it better. Again, you could access the internet, summarize chats from any website, ask AI for Amazon, and then it even has an AI image generator, LinkedIn, YouTube summarizer, doc chat, so you could summarize or chat with with any PDF or document, and then doppelganger for Twitter. You can personalize chat with any Twitter profile. Now, just to start, I'm over here in Merlin's website, okay? It's just getmerlin.in. But as you can see, I went ahead and then generated this pretty cool looking AI image, but this isn't even the best part, okay? I could still operate. I can use this directly within Merlin, and it's operable just like a chat GPT would be, where I can start chatting, add more chats, have it create images, etc. Okay, but that's not what the best part is. But even if you want to use it here, if I started a new chat, you could see all of the options right here. I have my web access, I can turn it off, use turbo or go in depth where it's going to have a vast amount of information from the internet. Okay. And then again, on the right hand side, everything from GPT 3.5, here we go, GPT 4.0, and then GPT-4, and then down to Claude, Gemini, and more, okay? I'll leave it on 4.0 for now, but then quickly you'll see that you have four pretty amazing options. However, this is good, but let's make it even better. And so for that, I highly recommend installing the Google Chrome extension. You're gonna have all this AI power directly at your fingertips. In fact, you're gonna turn Merlin into your own personal AI sidekick. So if you wanna install the Chrome extension, just visit this page right here. Now keep in mind, I will have a lot of links in the description on how you can access Merlin, get these amazing deals, in addition to thousands of prompts you'll definitely want to try yourself. So if you visit this page, once you're here, mine says the very top, remove from Chrome. I already have the extension installed. If you didn't, you would just select this blue button it will say install. Once it is, here we are. Now check this out right here. This is when you know it's good. Look at all of the reviews. 4.8 stars out of five with over 8.7K ratings. And again, over 1 million users. This tool really is that good, okay? So you can just see it, the proof is in the pudding, try it for yourself. After you have the Chrome extension installed, this is all you have to do to activate it. Up in the top right hand corner, you can just simply select the Merlin icon and it's going to appear just like this. However, I really like using the shortcuts. So here's a good example. I'm on the homepage of Google. If I want to go ahead and bring this up, just use the keyboard shortcut. Since I'm on a Mac, it will be Command M. If you're PC, it's going to be Control M. Okay. And so just like that, I activated it and now here it is. It pulls up just like this and then right away we have all of our options. I have access web in depth. Okay. I want 
want the most advanced portion of the web to be available. And now I have these options immediately that I could just start with. If I didn't want to, down here at the bottom, I can just start simply typing in a simple prompt. I can also add attachments and images. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is I'm gonna head over to my blog page right here. In fact, this is where you can find thousands of prompts to use. Copy and paste them however that you want. What I'll first do is let me just go ahead and go to a blog post, okay? Once my blog post is opened, I'm going to pull up Merlin and then just like that, now I'm going to select chat with this web page, okay? And then instantly you can see that it's already processing over here on the right-hand side. Web page processing completed. You may now proceed chatting with it. Did you see how fast that was in real time? Now, very quickly, I'm going to do this. Say, give me a summary just by simply selecting this button right here. And then instantly it's going to start creating a summary for you on what this whole entire blog post is specifically about. Okay, so it basically gives me the whole entire summary about the Loop Deck Live S review, the interface, and then all of the key features. So having the ability to chat with any web page in live real time is pretty amazing. The next thing we'll do is let's go ahead and then generate images. Now check this awesomeness out right here. Okay, once I select generate images, immediately up at the top, I have all these options available for me. I have all the aspect ratios I can quickly select. I can click on this icon and then I could select the amount of images I want to get. Let's go with three. And now to the right of this, I have all of these options to choose from. Now look at this right here. At the very top, I have Dolly. okay? Then we have RPG V5. Then we have Stable Diffusion XL, 3D Animation. The list goes on. Anime Pastel Dream, Dream Shape, Leonardo Diffusion. Wow, well doesn't that look familiar? Leonardo Diffusion, Leonardo AI. And if you're familiar with Leonardo AI, you'll start to realize to yourself that these powerful fine tuned models look very, very similar. Well, that's because they are. The icons are the same ones in Leonardo AI. Look at this, Leonardo Diffusion. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and then go with Dali. Okay, and for the first one, let's go ahead and select this dystopian city on Mars. So it's getting our images prepared. Now, notice this down here at the bottom. Try out our new image generator. So Merlin actually has their own image generator as well. I'll show you that as well. But first, let's take a look at our images made with Dali. Amazing. Okay. Now let's just try one ourselves. I'm going to remove this Dali model. Let's go with RPG V5 now. And now what we're going to do is let's try to really get a really good image, one with a lot more details. And so for that, I'm going to come over here to my mega prompts database. If you don't have access to this database, I'll also put a link in the description. It's going to have close to 4,000 prompts. Now I add more and more to it every single day. So for this one, I'm going to open up my specific specific AI art gallery. Let me find something I want to make. So for this, let's go ahead and open up this one right here. Okay. This image looks pretty fascinating. Let's see if we can get something duplicated just like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the whole entire prompt, except for the details at the very end, because that's only useful for mid journey. Now let's go ahead and paste this actual prompt in. There is my prompt. I'm going to hit send. Give it a couple of seconds and let's see what sort of image we can now get with RPG V5. Okay, while that's thinking, we're going to come back to this in a second. Remember a few minutes ago, we talked about how Merlin actually has their own AI image generator and it's called Bonkers. Now, this is a really clean and helpful interface. Okay, we have our assistant already here. Now, check this out. Over here on the left-hand side, we have all of these amazing options, starting with aspect ratio, square, YouTube, YouTube shorts, all of these social media aspect ratios to get an instant image that's going to fit and work perfectly for any sort of social media platform. Let's go ahead and select Instagram post. That way our dimensions are going to match that. Then on the left hand side, we have Merlin prompt magic. This is where we could select this to generate better prompts. And then we have the capacity to enter a negative prompt. Okay, amazing. Now, the icing on the cake, look at this, bottom left-hand corner, we can also download Merlin and Bonkers in the App Store. So we'll have all this powerful AI at our fingertips anywhere we go if you download the app. So for an example, once I have it selected, here it is right here. You can get it from the app store. It does a great job. But back to our image generator. So to use Bonkers, their own version, let's go ahead and then select a different prompt to use. Let me go through a few of these. Let me scroll down until I can find something that's pretty cool. Okay, and just like that, let me go ahead and then click on this cool looking flower one here. This has some very unique keywords. It's a long prompt, but let's go ahead and see how well Merlin does. 
All right, so we're back over here in Merlin via Bonkers, and I'm simply going to go ahead and then paste this prompt in and see if we can get something that resembles the image I just copied the prompt for, okay? I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. While this is thinking, over here on the right-hand side, look at all of the other options that we have, okay? We have all these amazing options on both the left and right-hand side to go and filter through, and I have all of these different options I can select for quick filtering to get the sort of image I'm looking for. Amazing job. And these are what's called all of the different models. We have three out of 38 selected. So you could actually select more than one. And from that, it looks like we do have our first image. Okay, pretty cool. I like the way this looks. It says diffusion blend. And then here is our second one, another amazing image, and it's called and it's made with uh, space rocks. But again, like I said before, it's all going to depend on what sort of models you're using and all of the amazing settings. Now, speaking of images, let's go back over to see what we got earlier earlier with Merlin via the sidebar. And then look at this one right here. Amazing job. Remember, I chose a dystopian one. Here is the actual prompt. Okay. Cinematic shot, man wearing military clothes, apocalyptic Los Angeles city. If I want to open it up, let me go ahead and then download this one and then we'll get a closer look. And then just like that, look how good this image looks right here on your screen. I think this did a fantastic job. Okay. So for the next one, I want to show you what you can do in X. So I'm over here on my X page right here at metrics mule and the first thing you'll notice up here i could type in a usual post where it says what is happening but check this out okay so i just typed in something fairly simple find merlin and the awesome deal at app sumo but notice this right here right below it i have these options okay these are all actually merlin options that i could use i can open this up you could see it's merlin now let's just select funny tone okay now Look at this right here. Can't believe I spent my entire childhood wishing I was an adult, and now I spent my adult wishing I was a kid again. Time really played me like that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now, I just did a random funny tone. That doesn't include the first sentence I typed up, but I think that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and then remove this one. Let's see what happens if I select dad joke, okay? Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts, okay? <laughs> that's crazy, nice. If I do create, check this out type your personalized action here. Okay, so I just said, get the Merlin deal at AppSumo. Okay, now just like that, look, I hit that little send button in Merlin, and now look at this right here. It completely revised and made a post way better than my just bland generic one. So I originally said, get the Merlin app and the deal at AppSumo, but now it says, just snag the Merlin deal at AppSumo and feeling like I got the ultimate productivity hack. Can't wait to test it out. Emoji rocket. Pretty amazing. Okay, so another cool thing you can do is really use this in YouTube. I'm on one of my YouTube videos right here. Now check this out. Up in the top right hand corner, here we are again. Merlin is already appearing. I have many options. I can summarize this video by click of this right here and get the transcript or again, look at this, create tweets, blogs, and more. If I select this one, now Merlin automatically opens up. It knows that this is the video I'm on. And now check this out. Now I could select exactly what I'm looking for. Generate a tweet from this video or I could generate a tweet thread from this video. Let's try this. Let's go ahead and generate a tweet. Okay, just like that. Look at this right here. I got that awesome tweet. Dive into Leonardo AI's new character reference guide for creating epic custom characters. Okay, nice. Okay, now I could summarize the video or get the whole entire transcript just by simply clicking these options right here. And then last but not least, just one last thing I want to share with you guys that Merlin just recently released. Check this out. It says free AI content detector is live. Try it now. And that's where I'm at right now. So you're going to get a ton of amazing features with just one powerful tool in Merlin. So if you wanted to have have something more humanized, you could come in here, paste or upload your text, especially if it's AI written by like chat GPT or Claude, paste it in here, and then I could select detect AI. I can also upload an actual file by selecting this button right here, and then upload a document or PDF, and then it will also detect any sort of text, tell you if it's AI, by providing a score over here on the right-hand side. You definitely don't want to be penalized by AI detectors saying that your post was AI written. So this is going to be an incredibly helpful feature. And Merlin offers so many other amazing little things that 
that we really didn't have the chance to cover today. But from showing you this, you get the overall just of what this powerful tool can do. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And don't forget to check all the links in the description, especially to get these amazing deals. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Turn it back.